Okay, welcome once again to uh, our first season. We're kind of playing this like a TV show here behind the sermon. And this is episode four, and we're going to get into uh, talking about something in just a minute. I just want to remind you that you can access this all the time at the Eastview uh, Church website, and you can get this on YouTube behind the sermon. And we're just here to just kind of talk through, after the sermon's over, Let's, let's just talk about some teaching and some, some preaching understandings that, that, that we have here. So. Where we typically start, Mike, is I remind everybody what you did yesterday. You mm -hmm. were in Acts 5. Mm -hmm. Great big, text, man. Yeah, Love big it. Big text, 17 through 42. At least Being, 12 sermons in there. That's and right. I try to shove them all into 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you entitled it, We Will Never Stop Speaking. And it really conjured up a theme that I want to talk about okay. that really was more behind the sermon than anything. It's a theme of obedience. Okay. If there is a word, a Christian word, that has to be baptized, brought into a, a baptistry of grace, it's that word. So yeah. here's my first question. Okay. How have you learned to call a congregation as a preacher to obedience? Because this passage, the heart of this passage, you've got Peter and the apostles saying, we must obey God rather than right, man. Right. How do you call a church to that? You know what, I think there, it's a simple adjustment that um, I remember growing up where the preaching was kind of like this pulpit yes. pounding, yeah. you need to do this, you need to do this, yeah. and it's a simple shifting. I've learned this over the last several years. This is not you, this is us. And we've mm -hmm. talked about how as a pastor, mm -hmm. you have this priestly kind of take. The reality is, is that this sermon is first and foremost for me as the preacher. Mm -hmm. I must obey. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's just so much different when I say, you people in the congregation, you need to do this, as opposed to, hey, we need to obey God here. We need to do what God's calling us here. So obedience is always taken much better when, when I'm kind of chastising myself along mm -hmm. with the congregation. We're in this together. So you just change that pronoun from you to we, and all of a sudden, okay, Let's, let's, let's be in. And they need to know that you're in this. Yeah, they need absolutely. to know that the heart of the preacher is, I really want to obey what God's calling us exactly. to Exactly. And so let's do this. Mike, I don't know. I cannot remember who I swiped this from. I don't, it's not original with me. This is it's a probably statement. probably not mine, that's well, for sure. <laughs> I, I just want you to respond to it. Biblical obedience is filled with grace and freedom. Yeah. Well, I, I think that there's, there's two kinds of obeying, right? There's an obey God or he's going to kill you and you're not going to get his love. <laughs> yeah. And that's religion in the past and oh, that's the catch. law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not what Christianity is about. Christianity right. is about you are loved by God. You are forgiven by God through the grace of Jesus Christ on the cross. And the therefore, story. Yeah. you get to obey him. Hmm. And, and, uh, and so I think the obedience we're calling people to is not earn it, which is so against our American mindset. Right. So, you know, I, I didn't want people to walk away yesterday going, you know what, I'm going to obey God. He'll love me more. I'll share my faith with more people. It's mm. not that. Mm. It's that if you've really been loved the way that the Bible teaches you've been loved, then you should obey God by sharing it with other mm. people and speaking into their lives. I like how that's tethered to the gospel. Let me end it with this, Mike. Yesterday was International Persecuted Church mm -hmm. Sunday. And let's take the idea of obedience and let's set it alongside our brothers and sisters around the world. I just wanted to give yeah. you a chance to give a word of encouragement. Well, here's the deal. Uh, again, to all our brothers and sisters around the world who may or may not be watching this, um, our prayers are with you and you inspire us. Mm -hmm. You are the brothers and sisters in Christ mm -hmm. that make us go, you know, we hope we're ready when we have to pay the price to share mm -hmm. the gospel. And uh, that's the encouragement from yesterday's, uh, what is the thing that will keep you from speaking on behalf of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. What is that thing that is scary to you. And whatever that is, that's dangerous and that's your dangerous witness. But whatever it is, um, we, can't, we can't stop speaking about the good news of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we obey because He's called us to it. And someday we'll, we'll get that rewarded with Him in heaven because Amen. of His grace. God bless Amen. you guys. Until next time.